Hello Taurus, hello my loves, this is Guy Intuitive Tarot, this is going to be your reading for, um, oh May, <laughs> I almost said May 21st, May 2014, okay so there's something about 2014 here Taurus, the, the, in the intro that I cut I said April 2014, so 2014 may be significant to you guys Taurus, um, uh, thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes, okay? It helps with the algorithm. It also helps with, you know, with, like, delivering messages, you know, receiving messages for you guys. It becomes easier. Um, help me, you know, make my opponents, you know, my enemies mad, okay? By subscribing and liking. Help me grow, okay? Let's defeat my enemies. But, Taurus, any information that you may need, you'll find in the description box below. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, um, that information will be in the description box below or in the pinned comment section. Taurus, okay, 111 is significant. So, Taurus, you have the R&B card. This is like the mystery card, okay? I pull five cards for five questions for this month. What is the overall theme overall theme for the month? Mm, heavy emphasis on tongue twisters. <laughs> Where to focus your energy this month? How you can find happiness this month? Weaknesses of this month's energy and the strengths of this month's energy, okay? Taurus, so let's begin. Okay, 146, 147, 111, significant. So, Aries, um, something about your first house, your looks, it could be significant. Okay, I'm, I'm getting something about your looks, about your appearance. Okay, um, action. Okay, your action, the way you take action, how you initiate. Okay, um, but I also heard 1940. Okay, so as I was pre shuffling and meditating on your energies. These are like the channeled messages, okay? I heard 1940, 1944, and 1980. So 1940, 1944, 1980. I also heard Golden Age Hollywood, Golden Era. So that, that may be significant, okay? That time, that age may be significant to you. I also heard 7-Eleven. I also heard crack cocaine. Okay, I'm hearing something about cocaine, okay, so 1980s, okay, so we're back in the 80s doing crack, is that what we do? Some of you guys um, may, be, may be in a community where cocaine, okay, is like the business or there's gambling, also gambling, drugs, and cocaine, okay? So where you're from, you're from the hood, are you from Chicago? Are you from, oh, I'm... Are you from Chi Town? Are you from Yeah, I heard Chi Town and then I was hearing like a gun range, but no like a gun shop. But I also saw the archer, I also heard the archer, I also heard Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. There could be a Sagittarius who is a who's dealing cocaine that you may know, or a Sagittarius who's a gambler, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Um, or a foreigner, okay? The ninth house. You could be dealing with a foreigner. Um, some of you may be college students. Okay, I'm also heard the Navy. Some of you may be in the Navy. Okay, you work in the Navy. I'm also heard Anchor, Captain Hook. I also heard Goldfish. Some of you may also be like, I'm also hearing Pisces. Okay, Goldfish. Okay, success. Okay, um, that is like a huge success. Okay, you're coming into wealth. That's how you know. Okay, you are the cash cow. Okay, CC. Um, I'm also hearing close corporations. Um... I'm also hearing Rihanna, so you could be a Rihanna fan, the Navy, but I'm, I'm just hearing Rihanna, something about Rihanna. I'm also hearing Blueberry, okay, Blueberries may be significant for you. I also heard Travis Scott, the Scots, okay, Travis Scott, the song, the Scots. 
um, palm stones, palm readings. Some of you guys may be getting palm readings um, this month. I'm also hearing palm stones, rose quartz. I'm also seeing the number, I also saw the number seven, okay? There could be like a thief around you, okay? Criminality, okay? Yes, 7-Eleven, cocaine, crack, Sagittarius. Yeah, there's in the number seven, okay? So some of you, you may have Sagittarius in your seventh house, okay? So I feel like you could be dating a criminal or you're dealing with a thief, okay? But I'm getting something about thief or criminality happening around you, okay? But you have the R&B card, okay? This is like your mystery card. So this tells me you could be in a relationship with this person, okay? Um, I also saw ants, mice, okay? I saw those, um, that could be like a spirit animal, an ant or a mice. But somebody here is a thief or a criminal, okay? I also heard lock up the house. Lock up the house, the Nigga, the team is sad. Look at that house. Yeah, yeah. Also, okay, so I feel like, damn, this is really... Some of you may be from New York. I'm hearing Bronx. Some of you may be from New York, okay? I'm hearing coast to coast, east coast, west coast, okay? You're dealing with the gangster. Um, Lock up the house, okay? The team outside. Damn. The whole team's outside. You need to lock up the house. Okay, I'm also hearing Naruto. I also heard South Africa. Some of you guys may be traveling to South Africa. You're from South Africa. Um, I heard Naruto. Um, I'm also hearing February readings. Okay, you need to go watch the February readings. Virgo tortoise readings for February. Um, I also heard script writing. Script writing, okay? Some of you may be writing scripts, okay? I'm also hearing manuscript. Some of you guys could be um, craftsmen. I'm also hearing second degree mason. Freemason. I'm also hearing dark purple. I'm also hearing Snoop Dogg, gin and juice. Rolling down the streets, smoking in the, sipping on gin and juice. Laid back with my mind and my money and my money and my mind. Rolling down the streets, smoking in the, Smoking on gin and juice, sipping on gin and juice, lay back with my mind and my money and my money and my mind. 737 could be significant, okay? I'm also hearing bitch please, you dick tease, bitch please, by Exhibit and Snoop Dogg, okay? So heavy emphasis on old school rap, hip hop, I'm also hearing 1144, okay? Some of you could be listening to like some old school rap music, some hip hop music, okay? These are just the channeled messages. So now let's get into the reading. Tortoise. Okay, we're eight minutes in. Eight eleven could be significant. Some of you may have a pain behind your ear. That could be spiritual, okay? There's a there's a meaning behind that, okay? But, okay, so lo what is the first question, the overall theme for the month? For Taurus, you have the world card. So I feel like fulfillment, okay, um, harmony, okay, completion. Um, I'm hearing getting along with other people, okay. Um, I'm also hearing, like, you know, finishing products, um, focusing on good endings, okay. I feel like that's what you, that is like the overall energy, Positive endings, um, positive outcomes, achievements, success, okay? You could be receiving, you could be receiving, receiving an honor, an honorary award of some sort or a certificate, um, a plaque. I'm also hearing honor, okay? I'm also hearing, um... There could be a shady Leo, okay? But I feel like you just focused on finishing what, finishing cycles, all cycles, completing cycles, okay? Um, I'm also hearing something about purity, okay? I'm also hearing something about timelines, history, okay? History play is very significant here in this reading. That's what I, 
noticed from the channeled messages history is plays a very huge part you could be dealing with a sagittarius wow am i psychic is it psychic or is it psychic like i do this okay let's not play don't play with me taurus let's not play i'm back by popular demand <laughs> But yeah, so I feel like you focus on that. Okay, the number 21 adds up to 3. Okay, the number 3. So you could be dealing with like your community. So okay, the community. Um, I'm also hearing siblings. Friends. Okay, some of you may be from the hills. Okay, I'm hearing birds eye view. But I'm hearing tower. Okay, I'm hearing tower moment. So, but it's it's a good tower moment, okay? I'm so I feel like you're coming out stronger from this, okay? You're coming out pure and strong, okay? I'm seeing white. I'm hearing lilies. I'm also hearing um December twenty first to January twentieth. Um, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. I'm also hearing reflection, okay? Um. But yeah, something here is being complete, okay? Positive endings, that is the focus, the main theme, okay? Positive endings for this month. And then where to focus your energy this month? You have the Emperor card, 11, 11 could be significant, 11, 23, the Strength card and the Ace of Wands, Leo energy, okay? Um, you have the Emperor card. So um, where to focus your energy this month? Okay, so you could be focusing your energy on um, your ambition, your goals. Okay, so I feel like you're really ambitious this month. That is where you're focusing on your energy. You need to check your Mars placement. I did get that from the beginning, like Aries energy. So your Mars, um, you need to check your Mars, okay? Um, but yeah, authority okay coming like your position like you could be focused on like your receiving assistance okay from powerful people in powerful positions you could also be like you're focusing your energy um to your male relatives okay um that could be like the focus um this month like your male relatives or like just males in general, okay, um, that, that you are like related with, yeah, like basically related male relatives, like males that you, um, that you can relate to or you are related to, you know. I'm also getting something I hear about taking action, okay, getting things done, the Emperor card, Aries energy. Okay, that, that also like giving me, um, I don't know, so this could be like you guys, I don't know who's the criminal here, if it's you or you, you I don't judge, okay, you could be a gangster of some sort, a criminal of some sort, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like you, you are the head honcho, okay, the emperor card, you're a head honcho, I feel like you know what you're doing, you're respected, okay, you, public respect with the world card and the emperor card. So I feel like you're honored, okay? You you are the truth. You speak your you speak your truth, okay? You could be focusing on building a structure, building a tomorrow for yourself, um, building a future, okay? Some of you you want to be a father around this time, or you you want to like you know focusing on your relationship with your father. How can you find happiness this month? The Queen of Swords. So this is how you find happiness, okay? You have to be clear-minded, okay? You have to know what you want. You need to clear your mind, clear your thoughts. You need to gather. You need to, like, um, organize your thoughts, organize your thought pattern, positive thoughts. You need to think positively, okay? Um, you need to... Um, You need to speak out too, okay? You need to vote. You need to vocalize. You need to voice your opinions this month. Whatever you have to say, you need to say it, okay? Um, if you don't like something, say it. If you like something, make it known.
Okay, so I feel like, yeah, like basically, um, yeah, promotion, authority, okay, so that is like the focus, queen of swords, okay, um, you are, your perception, okay, your mind, your thoughts, like, you need to work on that, you need to, um, that is how you find your happiness, your thoughts, I feel like, too, you, um, cutting people out, not being too nice this month is how you find happiness this month, okay? Be in the energy of the Emperor and the Queen of Swords, okay? Because you will understand where I'm getting with this, okay? Um, you need to, you need to be like, you know, the, you need to be, <sighs> my advice is just don't be too nice to niggas. Just set the price to niggas and live your life, my nigga. Jay-Z, Sagittarius Energy. Once upon a time in the projects, I was in flight mode, I bought a pirate. I was in flight mode and I was fucking me, ho. So I feel like, yeah, you need to, like, if you said it, you've said it, okay? Don't backtrack. You need to be honest, speak the truth, okay? You are respected for your truth. That is what how you gain happiness this month. Um... I'm also hearing things will become clear for you to understand, okay? Um, a lot of solutions, too. That's also what I'm getting. An expansion in your... An expansion in your... An expansion in your knowledge, your intellect, your IQ... So I feel like you're going to discover something too. That's also that is going to make you happy. That is like what's going to make you happy. Um, for some of you, this could be like your you could be students for some of you or teachers. But yeah, you um, what is your weakness for the month? The Empress card. You pull the Empress card. That is your weakness. Okay, you being feminine. Okay, you being um too receptive, it's you being slow movement, you moving slow, that is your weakness this month, okay, females are a weakness for you this month, two tortoise, male or female, because I feel like the focus, you need to focus your energy this month to men, okay, males, okay, because I feel like that is like where it's going to lead you to success, because I feel like there could be, um, I don't know, it's like jealousy, like there's like females here or like a Libra or a tortoise or a Gemini here that just dislikes you or a Virgo. I feel like this person, they, um, they're nosy, okay? Or I feel like you're dependent on someone. I feel like you're too dependent. That is like your weakness this month. I feel like you need to do things on your own, okay? With the Emperor card, you need to initiate, do things yourself. If you want to get things done, do it yourself, tortoise. I feel like we all know that saying, okay? Um, that quote. But, yeah. Some of you could be pregnant this month. Okay, I'm not saying being pregnant is a weakness, but I feel like it could play a weakness. That could be like your weak point this month, okay? I feel like... People look at you and they're like, okay, you're pregnant. So I feel like I can take your spot. I can take your position. or Because I feel like when you're, when you're pregnant, you are in no position to compete. You are in no position to be in the emperor card. You cannot be in the emperor energy while you're pregnant, okay? You have to be the empress. You have to sit down, okay? And, you know, nurture yourself. So I feel like for some of you, I feel like you've rested enough or resting, that is like your weakness. You resting, that is a weakness. I feel like everything that is like at, attribute. So I feel like this month, I'm getting something about opposites, okay? You have to operate in the opposite. I'm getting something about the seventh house. Okay, for some of you, maybe you're not fertile this month. That could be a weakness. Like, you're fer you could be having fertility issues this month for some of you. Um, the Easter, something about the Easter, okay? The Easter holidays. Around that period could be like a weak point for you around that period. Um... 1950 could be significant.
Yeah, so I feel like, okay, what is going to... Um, your strength this month is the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, so, the Queen of Cups... So the weakness, okay, I get it now. So the weakness of you being pregnant, so I feel like maybe you're not working and you want to work, okay? Or you're on vacation and you don't want to be on vacation. But yeah, let's move on from that. The Queen of Cups, okay? That is like your strength this month. So I feel like you're, so you have the strength of, um. so I feel like you're comforting, okay? First of all, you're calm, you're compassionate, okay? You are, you are loving, you are understanding. I also feel like you are, you are loved. Um, I also feel like your, your heart chakra is opened. That is your strength. Okay. Um, I feel like you, you have the ability to manifest. Okay. Using your emotions. I feel like too, you have, you can, I feel like you have an effect on people using your emotions. I feel like you can use your emotions to trigger certain um, emotions out of people with the Queen of Cups. I feel like you have the knowledge, um, the number 72. I feel like, okay, 72, seven, 72, 7 plus 2 is 9, okay? So I feel like you could be a life path 9, but I feel like you're experienced... Or you're a life path nine, two, or seven. Okay, that is your strength this month. So I feel like your knowledge is your strength. Your looks are your strength. Your ability to work with other people is your strength. Your ability to love is your strength. Um, your ability to coexist. Okay, that is your strength. Because a lot of some people they cannot coexist. Okay, but you can coexist. That is a strength. Um, the number nine ex transformation. Okay, you know how to transform people's emotions, people's feelings. Okay, um, your feelings, your emotions, are your strength this time, this month. Because I feel like Taurus, when you are comfortable, okay, the Queen of Cups, when you are comfortable, that is actually when you are when you are in your best or your best when you're in your strongest, okay. But you have the Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, so I'm seeing like you could be in a group of three, okay. Um, but I feel like you could be going out, okay, celebrating like this new opportunity, this new contract, okay. You could be signing a contract, um. But some of you, I feel like you're just celebrating, okay, the birth. I'm hearing like the birth of a, you could have given birth, okay, to a, to a girl. But I feel like you're celebrating the birth, okay, that's what matters. So I feel like you... Because I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, you have already, um, basically, you are the Empress, the Empress slash male or female. You take it how it applies. Because I feel like this energy was like you are, it's like you are the master of your craft, okay? You don't have to compete. It's like you being on a maternal break. That, you don't, it's like, what is this, um, Nikki? I'm hearing this Nicki Minaj line. Okay, um, not that all these bitches is my sons. <laughs> it's this other, um, she's saying, it's a song, Fraction. It's just, she speaks about what the fuck is a race when you already won, what the fuck is a race. So I feel like it's like you already won. So I feel like you are not on a race, okay? So, because I'm getting like this rat race energy. Like, but I feel like you're pregnant, like you're down, you're, it's like you're sitting now, you're taking, you're on a break. You're watching everything around you just grow on its own, okay? I'm hearing, I'm also hearing organic. 
Okay, it's not like your success is organic. Okay, you don't have to monitor it. Okay, you don't have to compete with the new employees because I feel like your work. I'm getting something about your accolades. Okay, I feel like you've achieved more. It's like it's like comparing. Um, it's like comparing Chloe Bailey to Beyonce or comparing Cardi B to Nicki Minaj or comparing, you know, it's like comparing a, a rookie to a veteran and you like the veteran. So as the veteran, you don't have to compete with the rookie. You don't, you don't like, what? Um, that is like your energies, tortoise. Thank you for all your likes, and subscribes and I'll see you guys next time.